Hi, welcome to the channel, and today we're going to be making a game that I've wanted to make for a while. It's heavily based on this flash game I used to always play, where you go through this dungeon, looting chests and killing monsters, and it gets harder the deeper you go. So basically it's a dungeon crawler, and I want to make one. I started by finding a way that I can make a grid style cave that will be generated completely randomly. This will be much easier than making a bunch of levels individually, and with this little bit of code we can already get an outcome that's looking promising. And now you can even move! I wanted to get all of the main dungeon generation done first, so I started working on adding chests. And I promise I will make this game look better, but for now, this is a chest. And they spawn randomly over the map. You can't do anything with them yet, but they're pretty cool, I guess. I then started dabbling with run without screen refresh for them sexy sexy loading times. And just like that, we have instant dungeon generation. Now it's time for the stairs. Or as we know it, the big green square. It's going to be at the end of the dungeon and allow for transportation through levels. Now if we go up to it and press E, a little menu will come up and ask you if you would like to proceed. And we can either click no to go back, or yes to generate a new level. And then I discovered that you go down a few levels, and then the scratch gods break my game because for some reason they have a clone cap. But what I don't understand is that the amount of clones that existed at one time never actually exceeded the limit. But for some reason scratch still said no. So I have to turn my back on the online scratch engine and turn to the more powerful, elite, and customizable turbo warp engine. With access to infinite clones, 60 FPS, and even a bunch of mods to make our life easier. The packager it comes installed with can even convert your game into EXE or HTML. So I'm gonna have to publish it on Newgrounds and Itch instead. Sorry to you hardcore scratchers, but your platform is gonna have to wait. <laughs> So I started moving the project over to Turbo Warp and tweaked a few things, and now it's working flawlessly. I decided it's about time I spruced things up a bit and worked on some new designs for the tiles. Pixel art of course, because I cannot draw. I tried a few fancier methods to try and make each clone able to detect what side another fellow clone is. Unfortunately though, after painstakingly working out the conditions for each change, I couldn't get it to work, so I just decided on changing the style of the one costume. I also added a way to interact with chests, although apart from opening and getting deleted out of existence, they still do nothing. And I'm afraid that's it for my first video, but I'm planning on making this a regular thing. So subscribe, and let me know what I should call this game, because I don't want to be stuck with Dungeon Crawler forever. Anyway, thanks for watching.